Hello everyone, my name is Alicia of Twist and Turbans and in this video I'm going to talk about the best way to detangle natural hair. Now the best way to detangle natural hair is when the hair is moisturized or has enough, enough moisture in it, be it wet or like really soft to the touch. When the hair is dry, it is very prone to breakage during the moisture, during the detangling process. So, therefore, make sure your hair is moisturized, um, spritz before you take your hands and begin to detangle your hair. Okay, there's a question on whether or not you should detangle your hair with either your fingers or with a comb. And it really depends on your overall hair type. Now, if your hair type is straight or loosely curled, why to comb is best. If you have tightly coiled hair, which is, falls in the type threes or fours, then you should be using your fingers on a regular basis or at least use your fingers first before proceeding with any type of comb. Also, how often should you detangle your hair? Um, it depends on how you style your hair. So if you wear your hair in a wash and go, um, daily is best, uh, wash and wear hair because um, Daily or whenever you wash your hair is best. That's when the detangle, dipping, the finger detangling process should begin. Um, for me, I finger detangle my hair daily. So whenever, every time I take a shower or every day that I take a shower, I wash my hair and I finger detangle to remove the shed hairs and then I apply my oil and then dry it. But if you wear your hair in braids or twists, um, your hair should be finger detangled during that process. So it's immediately after you, um, or whenever you're ready to wash your hair is the best time or how often you should finger detangle. I recommend that you don't go more than a week without finger detangling. The longer, you wait to finger detangle, the more matted, the more shed hairs you're going to have to remove from your hair. And the least amount of moisture your hair is retaining or that time, um, that time period, that means your hair will be a lot drier. Unless you're moisturizing your hair, or spritzing your hair daily or at least every other day, um, your hair would be somewhat on the dry side or have a lot of shed hair that would need to be removed. So the best time to detangle your hair is when it's immediately after you um, wash it. So, and what about finger detangling your hair without breakage? Now, the only way you can prevent breakage when detangling, well, not finger detangling, but just detangling your hair, only way you can prevent breakage is making your share, making sure, again, that your hair has enough moisture in it and making your sure also, making sure also that your hair is properly cleansed. Product buildup is the primary reason why your hair is breaking and you um, are having issues with moisture retention and proper detangling your hair and um, also allowing your hair to go extended periods of time, weeks of time, days of time without moisturizing your hair. You know, water is your friend, especially if you have 
Afro textured hair or hair that is tightly coiled, um, hair that is very curly, hair that becomes dry and brittle very quickly. Moisture is the key to preventing breakage, period. And the more you cleanse your hair, the more you moisturize your hair, the less breakage your hair will have. Um, how to detangle natural hair. Now, again, moisture, you want to make sure your hair is moisturized before detangling. But if your hair is matted, dehydrated, um, or lacking um, moisture or has knots or tangles or a lot of tangles in it, um, don't be too quick to pour water on your hair. The process, the, the best way to detangle matted, super dry, knotting hair is to lightly mist the hair. Then you want to apl apply oil such as coconut oil or olive oil to the hair. Let the oils sit in your hair for um, 10 to 15 minutes. Then proceed to separate your hair into four more sections and then follow up with removing those knots and tangles with your, your fingers. The goal is to re not to remove all the shed hairs, but to remove like a lot of the matting in your hair and separating, you know, and the knots and, you know, loosen up a lot of the matted hair before washing. Now, once your hair is somewhat detangled, you, you can separate your hair easily with your fingers. The next process is wetting the hair, you know, rinsing the hair in water, applying your conditioner, and then take your fingers and run your fingers through and remove those shed hairs. But on hair, you want to mist it and oil it, you know, really well. Then finger detangle, remove those shed hairs. Um, the shed hairs are the matting hair, the matting hair, and loosen that. Then condition the hair, apply condition, conditioner to the hair, and then finger detangle those uh, matted hairs from the head. So that's the easiest, simplest way of finger detangling the hair. And you want to use, of course, your fingers. Now, if your hair is um, straight or, or loosely curled, then a wide tooth comb will work best as far as detangling on well-conditioned and wet hair. Please check out my website at twistandturbans.com for more tips and information on the best ways to detangle natural hair. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell. Have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.